Hey guys and welcome back. So today is gonna be a bit of a talky video so if you're not into words and you just want to look at the pretty pictures then turn off the sound and put on some nice music. Otherwise I hope that you're having a pencil or a brush in your hand and you're gonna draw along with me. Later on I'm gonna talk a bit more about my drawing um, and what I did and why I did it. I just wanted to do something in my sketchbook and not really think about it, turn off my brain. So um, I didn't plan ahead, I didn't know what I would do uh, when I started drawing. I actually worked on this a bit more than I thought because when I grabbed my colored pencils I kind of um, got sucked into it. I think during October I completely forgot how much I love to use colored pencils and watercolor together and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, it was super relaxing. The thing I want to talk about first is inspiration or how you come up with ideas or how I come up with ideas because I got this question quite a bit during Inktober. Somebody wrote me a comment again, it was um, Luminous Lilypad and they were a bit sad that I didn't talk a bit more or explain more how I came up with the concepts for the drawings. It's not like I'm trying to be secretive about my ideas and how I come up with them. It's just such an alien concept to me to explain it. It's kind of like I would have to explain to you how my brain comes up with my dreams because it's pretty much the same thing. It just takes the information that's already there and makes it up in a new way that I haven't thought of before. I never really had to think much about what I'm gonna draw for the Inktober prompts. I definitely had to actively think about the prompt word misfit and as I already mentioned I think the problem with that was that I've set myself some boundaries because I've already picked a theme to the drawing. I wanted it to be cute. So I made myself an active part of the thought process. I think that's why this one was really hard because for all the other drawings I didn't really think about it. I read the word in the evening and sometimes I got the idea immediately and sometimes I just got to bed, slept on it and the next morning I had the idea. So. I really don't have a process how I come up with these things and thinking about this whole stuff made me think of Stephen King's Misery. I absolutely love this book. If you haven't read the book or watched the movie, it's about a writer, Paul Shelm, and there's a bit in a book where he has to come up with an idea for a book that he has to write and he starts to think about the difference between having an idea and trying to have an idea and I really love how Stephen King always describes these um, abstract concepts like a thought process or an emotion and just visualizes it. So when Paul Sheldon thinks about these concepts of ideas and inspiration he often refers to um, I think it was the guys down in the workshop or something like it and I think the guys in the workshop is your subconscious so that's where all this stuff is happening that you're really not an active part of. So the guys just look through all of the information that's already there, that's already in you. And then they mix and match it and send it up to you. So I think when you have trouble to come up with ideas for what you want to draw, then your guys in a workshop are just a bit lazy. Right before I started Inktober, I was watching a lot of history documentaries. And I also listened to... H.P. Lovecraft audiobooks and I re-listened Stephen King's Misery. So all of these things have kind of a theme to it. I think that's why I ended up drawing so many statues. And because I was setting myself a goal to practice more backgrounds, which is something that I didn't do very often before, um, I think it really pushed my creativity a bit because suddenly I came up with stuff that I haven't thought of before. So if you feel a bit stuck with ideas, then maybe try to pick a theme or kind of a goal for a, a week or a month or something and give you guys in a workshop something to do so that they're constantly busy. Because I noticed that challenging yourself and doing something that you normally wouldn't do really helps with coming up with new ideas. So I want to keep at it and I started kind of a um, watercolor journal, I guess. I want to get better with watercolors, so I'm gonna practice in it. 
and I'm currently reading a book about watercolors and its history and how different artists in different times use them and it's really interesting so I think that's really going to um, change my thought process a bit and maybe give me new ideas on how to work with watercolor so I'm pretty excited about it but that's pretty much it about the topic. I'm sorry if you feel like this is a cop-out but I just really can't explain how I come up with ideas. My guys in the workshop are just sending me stuff up constantly which I'm really grateful for and the best stuff comes to you when you don't think about it so give your guys something to do and try to pick topics that you're not very familiar with. Okay, so now a bit about the drawing. Um, so once I was done with the sketch and I was happy with it, I inked a couple of the lines. And I inked only the lines that were important to me, um, that I didn't want to lose once I started to use the watercolor. And after I laid down the watercolor, I decided to go in with my colored pencils. So what I like to do with colored pencils, especially in a face, is to lay down as much colored pencil as I can and let the colors be really vibrant. A bit more vibrant I guess than I would normally do and I think the camera doesn't pick it up very well because of my um, big studio lights. I do this until I can't layer anymore and then I go over the face with a with a bit of watered down uh, white acrylic paint and this seals the colored pencils and it tones them down and then I have a completely new layer and I can keep working with my colored pencils on it. And I think this is where I get stuck a lot of the times because you can do this basically forever. I think I made three or four layers of acrylic paint on this but eventually I had to stop and work on other stuff and I really like how this looks. I like how um, some parts of it are a bit more rendered, some are still very sketchy. I like the mix of watercolor and colored pencil texture. So overall I had a very relaxing time with this. So that's pretty much it and I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of the video with music. But if you have a um, different kind of way to come up with your ideas, write me a comment and tell me how you go about it because I'm really curious. I never asked myself how other people might handle it. If you haven't subscribed yet, then uh, yeah, you, that's something you could do. And give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and all of that nice stuff. And uh, see you next time. Bye.